Hi, and welcome to this installment of Frank and Mary here in Westboro. If you haven't seen this show before, my name is Art Bridgewine. Uh, my day job is as an elder law attorney at Myrick O'Connell, actually right here in Westboro. But this is not about my day job. It's about my friends, Frank and Mary. If you've seen my presentations uh, on cable or at local senior centers, you know that Frank and Mary's goal is, in life is very simple. They wanna live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard. And if that's in Westboro, that means they wanna be right here. They never wanna move. They don't wanna to move to Marlboro. They don't wanna to go to live in San Diego with their kids. They wanna be right here. So the question for you is, who do you need to know and what are the programs that you need to know about uh, in order to be able to do just like just that uh, if you identify with Frank and Mary? Now, many, as many of you know, my wonderful co-host for this show is Shelby Marshall and she finds all these great guests, including the people we have today to talk about these things. Unfortunately, and I know people will be crying here, Shelby couldn't make it onto the show today so I'm carrying her water for her. And so you, I, you, you have to forgive me if I screw up, but she's got these great guests. She's got uh, Kim Foster, who is the assistant town manager here and Tim Kohler, who is a, a famous local politician, member of the planning board. Uh, but the reason why they're both here together because they wanna talk about, and sometimes I'm referring to notes here that my friend Shelby gave me, the 2021 Mass Save campaign in Westboro. So first, both of you, thank you very much for being on our show. Uh, we really appreciate it. You know, we realize everybody's got day jobs, so you know, to be doing this, thank you very much. And 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 we're gonna we're gonna take a short break here, so um, so that um, one of these folks can actually ramp up the PowerPoint from which they're going to be talking about their campaign. So Kim, uh, once again, thank you very much for being here. Um, and I guess I should ask just once again to start off, I see folks are seeing this slide. What is it? What is the, the, uh, the, the Mass Save Municipal Partnership? Um, great, well first Art, thank you very much for, for having us today. Very excited to have an opportunity to explain to your viewers a little bit more about this partnership. Um, and that's, it, it, it's exactly what it is. It is a partnership with um, our utilities. And for us here in Westboro, that would be National Grid and Eversource. And those utility companies have a number of um, programs and uh, things that are available to residents, um, to businesses, um, to their customer base to promote energy efficiency measures. And the whole idea of the partnership while these programs are not new programs of the utilities, um, we as the town of Westboro are partnering with the utilities to um, get word out and to try to increase participation in many of these programs and to get, um, you know, the ultimate goal is to promote energy efficiency. And I think that's good for a number of reasons um, and including for many residential owners, there's a real benefit, um, a bottom line benefit to your utility bill. And, and I know that this is part of a, of, a, of a real effort that the whole town is making to actually become this, 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 this really sustainable community. It's, it's quite amazing what you're, what you're trying to accomplish. Right. Yeah, well, again, it's, um, you know, the, the utilities have um, been working at this for a number of years. There may be residents who think, oh, I, th I think I've done this before. It sounds familiar. Um, and we know there are quite a few residents who have taken advantage of the program. Um, it is something that we've all paid into. There is a fee that already exists on our utility bills. So this, many of the um, things that you can benefit from by participating in the program are very um, either no cost or low cost options to improve your energy efficiency. And um, we're looking again, as I mentioned, both homes and businesses, but understanding your viewership, what we wanna talk primarily um, today about would be for homeowners, what they can do um, both to participate, what the program is, and then what they would need to do to participate in it. Um, can you just tell me, so why did Westboro kind of apply as a town? Why, why did you get involved as, an, as, a, as, a, as a town? Good question. To your earlier point, um, many people are aware that the town has a um, very, um, we're in the process of 
uh, look, we have a climate action plan that has been released. Um, we are looking at um, a number of measures to further the goals of the climate action plan. Um, and this mass save partnership really is one of the things that already exists and is readily available for us to sort of jump right in with. Um, a couple of things that might be helpful for your viewers to understand. Um, this is a 12 month effort that the town has to, we've committed to working with the utilities um, to promote the mass save initiative and to assist with outreach. Um, you, some of your viewers may have already heard us talk about this a couple of weeks ago at a board of selectmen meeting. Um, there has been some, um, some articles in the community advocate talking about this initiative and camp or campaign um, and coming up in the water, the quarterly water and sewer bill um, should be arriving in residents mailboxes in the very near future, the next few days. Um, there's actually an insert in that bill that talks, I, it's not the best way to see it, but I do have, it's, it's an insert that'll be in the bill um, that talks about the program. So this is an ongoing effort. Um, and what we're trying to do is make sure that folks understand it's an entirely voluntary um, program. Uh, there's no obligation to participate. And even if you start and go through, um, get through the home energy assessment, there's no obligation to continue. So um, just a couple of other points for your viewers. The, um, the utility companies will not be contacting you directly. Um, again, it's, it's your choice to choose to start down the path of this program. Um, and we're also looking to really make sure that folks understand um, once they get into the program, the idea again is to, you know, each individual residence is going to have different needs, different um, things that can be done. And, and that's ultimately what Tim will talk a little bit more about when he talks about the home energy assessment and the outcome of that assessment. Um, but we're really looking to see uh, a number of people, increase the numbers of people who are taking that first step and getting into the home energy assessment. I think that's, I think that's the kind of the big message is this, this, is, this isn't a one size fits all. You're not trying to sell anybody anything, yeah. right? You're just, Correct. You're ge this, is, this is genuinely your tax dollars. And as you mentioned earlier, Kim, your utility payments, because you are you pay into this fund, you know, which is funding all of these things. These are your dollars at work. These are your dollars at work. So I want to go, I want to go to Tim. So Tim, so first of all, how, how did they get you into this? You know, I know that I know that you're a famous local politician, but, but, and it's highly paid. The planning board is always a highly paid. Uh, position, but how, how did they get you to volunteer? And then let's talk a little bit about the, but the program itself. Thank, thank you, Arthur. I'm um, equally pleased to be able to speak to your audience for Frank and Mary today. So despite my high profile as a Westboro politician, um, folks will remember or may remember that it, we passed in town meeting uh, a warrant to create the climate action plan that Kim referred to back in October of 2019. And so um, I asked to work on the task force that as Kim mentioned has just completed its work. So we've been at work for the last year on looking at, um, at Westboro's greenhouse gas emissions was one of the things um, that I would link this program into. and. What are the things that other cities and towns in Massachusetts are doing at a practical level to kind of address their carbon footprint, emissions, waste, all of those things. And so we put that all together in the climate action plan. But the, um, this particular program, Mass Save, may be familiar actually to many of your viewers. We've, you know, it's been around for a while and we've taken advantage of it. One of the things that we, we learned is that there's so much dyna dynamism around this topic. You know, climate change highly, you know, can be politically charged, but at a state level, um, there's a lot of new legislation. The governor has mentioned a net zero 2050 goal. So um, in truth, all the cities and towns in Mass are, are, are going to begin to shift their focus to um, what we can do to help reduce emissions locally. Um, and when um, working on the task force with a number of really terrific people, 
uh, I learned a lot. And one of the things that we learned is that a lot of our um, carbon emissions in Westboro, in our footprint, come from our buildings. No, no surprise. So these are from the fossil fuels we use to heat um, our hot water and our space. Um, and the electricity we use, of, of course, is another element of it. And the proportion of electricity that is generated by fossil fuel use, you know, either coal burning or, or, or uh, gas burning generation facilities. But, but with regard to what we can control, you know, within town, which is really what we're trying to focus on is um, steps that we can each take. So this program um, has been, you know, is been revamped, is revamped every year, and I think will continue in the years to come. Um, but right now it offers some exciting off, you know, things. And so the municipal partnership was a way uh, for us to, you know, get a little more attention, I would say, for some of our citizens and get a little more focus in town to help uh, explain the benefits of it and make sure that everybody is aware of it um, so that they can take advantage of it if they want to. And, and, but, and, and I know that, you know, my next question is going to be to, to help you, you know, ask kind of what is this about as far as the individual property and what, you know, how, what's involved. But I'll tell you, my wife and I just did this, you know, regard, regarding our, regarding our 130 year old historic heat eating uh, house in downtown Walra. We couldn't believe how much stuff was, how, how many things were available to it. We had no idea. Yeah. No idea. It's just, it's simply wonderful. So tell us about that. Uh, what's so, involved? So what's let's involved jump in, into it. In the yeah, program. equally. Yep. Uh, so it's a simple four-step process. So we're going to go into this and talk about it in a little, a little bit of detail. Each step along the way is, is really in your control as a resident. And I'm going to be talking today about the program, as you see at the bottom, of residential offers for renters and homeowners. Important for everyone to know that there's also a program for um, uh, commercial accounts. So our businesses in Westboro, particularly our small businesses, there's, you know, there's a part of this program for them. We're not gonna talk about that today, but I wanted to make sure that if anybody is running a small business or knows somebody, um, like you said, who knew everything that's available and it's worth contacting Mass Safe. So let's just talk about this quickly, Arthur. If if somebody wants to just get an idea about what these energy saving opportunities are that you referred to, that you know that we're, we're just not aware of, they can go to MassSave.com, M-A-S-S-S-A-V-E.com, and I put the screen up here, the, the landing page, and just check on home one to four family properties. And they can explore information before they take another step, you know, and, and see what it's all about. Um, so that's step one. Um, if they want to get involved, then step two is really about taking the home energy assessment. So you see the splash screen up here again, um, if you want to access that online, you uh, can, can just go to MassSave.com, but if, if you want to go straight to the home energy assessment, you put the slash in there and type H-E-A, and it will yeah. bring up the home energy assessment um, and, items. And of course, if I'm a homeowner, I'm saying, what am I getting into here, right? So yeah. if I'm... If I'm if I'm, you know, especially if I'm my friends, Frank and Mary, you know, because we always hear about scams and all this other stuff, you know, and while you two look pretty legitimate, you know, obviously <laughs> <laughs> people are concerned. So, so if I'm do, am I committing to anything by requesting a home energy assessment? No, you're really not. And um, it's, it's, you know, my mother used to say nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's, it's a no cost assessment. Um, so it'll, um, you, you know, just provide you some information. So there's three ways kind of to get in, you know, to get into this. One is to go to the online link, uh, which we have up here and enter the information for your home. And then at the end, they'll ask you for your preferred contact. So as Kim mentioned, nobody's gonna cold call you. It will be, you'll control the access or the contact. 
The easier way maybe for the Frank and, and Mary audience is to simply call at the bottom of the screen here, 1-866-527-SAVE or 7283. And there a mass save agent will actually, you know, kind of take you through an interview, which is the same information you would have entered online. You mentioned it, you know, my home's 1862. You know, I, I've recently updated the um, gas furnace. So they'll go through and take your detail. It, it's really good for people to have their uh, utility bills nearby, their, their national grid bill and their Eversource bill if they use natural gas in hand, because the assessment will actually look at your pattern of usage, probably like you, Arthur, you know, we're, I, I get nasty grams that we're using way more gas than our neighbors because the house is so old and, and, there's, and there's insulation opportunities. So um, the mass sage, the virtual home energy assessment was um, what was set up with the advent of COVID-19. So not only is nobody gonna cold call you, you really don't have to have anybody come into your home either, which I know for, for people is a security issue and now a health and safety issue. So this is, this is one of the changes that MassSave made in the program, because in the past, it was always having somebody come on site and do the inspection. So and, and, so, and, I'll, and I'll mention that when we did it, you know, literally what we were doing was the laptop that I'm now on, uh, we were picking up the laptop uh, and showing the guy that was on the other end of the call, you know, and, you know, how, how the insulation looks and all this stuff. It was very, so, so for all of my Frank and Mary friends, you may want to get your daughter or your granddaughter, right, to be with you at this time so they can help you do all this stuff, just in case, just in case, okay. It's just such case. good advice, Arthur. So, right. you know, having a, a tablet or a phone with a camera, because as you said, um, when you call the agent, um, they'll, they'll tell you, but as, but as Arthur said, you know, you're gonna, you, you, you may take a shot of your hot water tank and your furnace. You may look in the basement, you know, kind of at the, at the, at the rafters underneath or talk about insulation, but they'll walk you through all of that. So, and it, and it will be a, an appointment that you schedule with this agent when you call in. So, so, so once they've done all of that and kind of gathered up that information, can you just kind of talk about some of the things that they might recommend? Yeah, well, the, you know, the, the, you know, so what's your deliverable for this no cost assessment? You're gonna get a report in writing with, the energy saving recommendations. So, so that, you know, as you mentioned, is gonna, Arthur, is gonna be customized to your home. This isn't a cookie cutter approach. Part of the reason they need to talk with you about the condition and age and, and the systems that you use for heating and cooling, if you do that, is that they're going to customize the report and recommend things that are going to help you. Um, so, so that's the main point. And, and once you get the report, whether you choose to move on anything, uh, do one piece and maybe not another, take the free stuff and defer some of the other things, that's really up to you. And the energy specialist that does your report would be available to, to you after the fact to kind of talk you through it too, if, if you may have other questions. And so, and so, and, and I'm just going to mention, once again, we got that, you know, and, and now I just want to talk about, and, and you said, you know, what are the, you know, possible recommendations? I, rem I remember after we did this, we got this big box in the, in the, in the, in, like from UPS, like a few weeks later, and it's got all these light bulbs, these energy efficient light bulbs in it. It's got the, what are those, what are those, what are the sticks that you can plug your stuff into? Actually, I'm using it right now, you know? As, as part of this show, and it was all free. I, it was just astonishing, just astonishing. So, having said that, so tell me, why is this a good deal? Why why should people should well, let's to... talk about that. So you've hit on it. There's really kind of four things that make this not only really good to help you save some cost on your utility bills, but the incentives that come along with it. So I'll run through them quickly. Arthur mentioned the first one. You get a box with instant savings products. So um, LED bulbs, smart power strips, um, a smart thermostat, which is a great, great way to just control, make sure you're not wasting uh, energy. 
and then shower head and faucet aerators. And so you get it in a box, Arthur, right? If you don't yep. want to install any of it, it's kind of up to you right. on those. So th that's really around your use of electricity and trying to save that and, and a little hot water. The second area is weatherization. So often people are asking is what's weatherization all about? It's really the building envelope. So those of us with old um, homes, you know, if we have good, a good roof, good windows, um, and then uh, the, you know, kind of the, the building envelope is the main thing I think they look at at mass save so that your insulation and air sealing any leaks, the, it's the drafts, right, that, that allow the, the energy to escape. So this will be truly kind of a custom approach. They'll recommend different um, vendors and um, up to 75% of the cost is covered. Um, you know, it can be even more than that actually repeat, with repeat what they're that doing no one's right going now. to believe what you just said repeat what you just said it's uh going to be covered up to 75 percent the cost of the insulation and weatherization steps that are taken by, by the commonwealth of massachusetts yeah well it's actually You're, by again it's the money we're it's, set as, it's, setting it's, aside in our bills right. and our utility bills right. so this isn't even coming out of the tax side of our outflow this right. is right in our utility that's why it's nothing ventured, nothing gained. It makes so much sense to take a look at what you're eligible for yep. and you know what dollars out of pocket. So this is a big one uh, for us. One of the things we learned in the work on the climate action plan, wouldn't surprise, Arthur, I'll ask you this because you're a, a seasoned Metro Wester. What percentage of homes in Westboro were built before 1940? would you say? 50. Brilliant guy. See, that's why you talk to an attorney. <laughs> they don't, you can't set them up. It's 55% are before oh, 1940, yeah. a right. really old home stock. And ironically enough, it's less than 5% that were built in the last 10 years, 10 to 15 years. So, um, you know, there's really a lot of opportunity in this area. So yeah. without further ado, I'll keep going. The other one is uh, that we talk about that will really help move our carbon emissions may not be there right away is electrifying our homes. So this is making sure that if we are burning fossil fuels, that, that we're doing so with the most efficient technology. So this will help you bring, if you use gas, um, if you use oil, you'll probably be encouraged to look at replacing that with the way the state laws are going. Before, you know, for our audience, we'll probably outlive it, but by 2050, um, a lot of the fossil fuel heating systems will go by the wayside. So it's worth looking at it right now because in a lot of cases, if you have an old boiler, you could have that principally funded by this, this pool of money too. So that's right. the other one. Um, the last kind of uh, is just rebates. Whoops, where did I go there? Rebates. Um, so if, if you are up for uh, some improvement in the efficiency of your systems, there'll be rebates for uh, your gas heating and cooling. Well, you see the list here, but it's really all of the space heat, uh, space uh, hot water and uh, cooling that you use. By and the way, so once again, I'm just going to give the local the, one of the reason why we started this is that our HVAC had, had it was on the verge of blowing out. So we need to look at an HVAC. And somebody said, well, you know, if you use one of these energy efficient things, you know, you get money back. And we did. I remember it. I mean, we got a, we had a, this, this big drop. It was like $1,500 or something in the system yeah. because yeah. it was an energy efficient system. Well, how good was that? You know, so. It's terrific. So there's really a lot of incentive um, that is being offered by the utilities um, to do this. And I think um, the other thing that we, we haven't talked about yet, and you see, uh, it saw mention to, uh, to landlords. So the important, we, one of the things that the municipal partnership is involved in is we're trying to reach out to our seniors uh, to people maybe with uh, more difficult economic circumstances, folks, neighbors that you have that maybe English is a second language now, Westboro's become um, a much more international place in the time I've lived here. 
Um, and, uh, you know, we talked about small business a little bit, but um, the renters. So another crazy fact, I'll give you, well, Arthur's uh, hit me, Kim, on the first uh, teaser question. How many, what percentage of Westboro residents are there, the people who sleep here, would you guess rent versus own their, their home? And by the way, I know that the number, the percentage in Marlboro is, 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 even, is even higher. It is, it, I think it's something like 60% um, in Marlboro. Yeah. But I so, would bet that in Westboro, it's, I would bet that it's 30. I would bet good, it's 30 or good more. Good guess. It's actually 45%. Wow. So just before. Wow. Yeah. And, and a lot of times you rent a place, you know, you never think about calling on, on something like this, but right. big shout out to those, those of you that may rent your facility, you know, contact mass safe. And the other thing that Kim and I will be doing with, with help from our, our, um, our building department is reaching out to the landlords or the, the people that are owning two to four family homes and the larger, the five and above, um, so that those structures are addressed too. But if you just rent your space, there's plenty of um, reason to give them a call and get an audit. Now, now for to Tim and to, and to Kim, because one of my when, when, when Shelby's here, usually my job is just to provide comic relief and check the time. So now I'm just checking the time too, because this is so interesting and I want to lose track. So I've got, you've got about a minute and a half left. Can you kind of speak to people to kind of, you know, wrap up what, you know, what should they be doing? Sure. I, I mean, I think what it, what it boils down to is um, make a call to Mass Save or go on the website. Um, if you're on the fence, you're not sure, I would encourage you to make the call and talk to someone there and find out um, find out more about the program. Uh, I think it is pretty user friendly. It's easy to um, get them the information so you can get that report back. It's no cost for the report, no obligation to move forward. But um, Tim and I have had this conversation many times. A lot of us have spent much, much more time in our homes this past year than we're used to. Um, and many of us have noticed during the winter, oh, it's a little drafty in here, or wow, we're using a lot, you know, our, our water bill. So I think um, the realization that this program is good in terms of energy um, usage reductions, it can also reduce the, your utility bill, so the amount that you're paying, but I think it can also increase the comfort in your home and you can just be more comfortable. Um, and again, just going back to that idea that we've all spent a lot more times in our homes and may have noticed some of these things and are trying to figure out what can I do about it. You yeah. can reach out to Mass Save, and that's a good starting point. Great. Tim, I'd final one, comment? One thought, Arthur, of, of the father of climate action in Westboro once said that energy that you save is energy that you don't have to pay for. And so for that reason, it's worth your own self-interest to give them a call. Give them a call. At the worst, you're gonna end up with this big box with these lights and all this other stuff. And you're probably gonna learn about how to, how to save on a whole bunch of other stuff. So thank you so much for this. This was really fascinating for me. I'll tell Shelby, you guys were terrific and that she really missed something. We may have to bring you back. You know, if our, if our ratings really go up as a result of this show, we'll, we'll bring you back for, a, for an encore. Thank you very much. Folks, what they're saying, it, it totally makes sense. It just totally makes sense. It's worth it for you to do it. And you're also contributing to a wonderful thing. You know, as a result of what you're doing, saving money, your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren may still be able to live here in 100 years. So this is a really important thing. Thank you very much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next installment of Frank and Mary here in Westboro. And thank you, Kim, and thank you, Tim.